Joining us now, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is with us. Let's start with wow. a party. <laughs> Let's start with a party that can't even make a simple condemnation of virulent racism and anti-Semitism because they don't have the votes. Well, they're afraid. They're afraid of the radical left. But this is going on all over the world, just not in the United States. The Labor Party in Britain is becoming more anti-Semitic by the day. Israel's the bad guy. The Palestinians are the oppressed. Uh, you know, Israel gets rockets fired into Israel from Gaza by Hamas. They never say a word. They blame Israel when they fight back. So they're afraid uh, not to impeach the president. They're afraid of getting a primary. They got a billionaire paying money to run against any Democrat who won't vote for impeachment. And they got the radical left threatening to have a revolt inside the Democratic Party if you stand up against anti-Semitism because they hate Israel so much. That's pretty odd. Uh, Senator, look, you've been in the forefront of trying to urge your Senate colleagues that this is a national emergency. I gave the statistics. Drugs, cartels, gangs, human trafficking, right. murder, rapes, assaults. And that's, again, that's only a tiny percentage, but the numbers are real for Americans. That's right. a crisis. Well, it, what did we learn today? We had the Border Patrol Commissioner and the DHS Secretary Nielsen testify that uh, family apprehensions have gone up 335 percent. Unaccompanied minor apprehensions have gone up 55 percent compared to last year. That if you're a family from Central America and you can make it to the United States, you will never be deported. You can be only held for 20 days and we release you within the country. Two percent of the unaccompanied minors who make it to America go back to their home country. Our laws are broken and we need a barrier. The most stunning testimony was a man who's been dealing in sex trafficking, a law enforcement official, and he said that most children brought into America come across the open area of the border because the smugglers are afraid to go through the points of entry. Eighty-seven percent of the people apprehended coming here illegally from Central America never go through a point of entry. We need barriers and we need to change our laws. Senator, so the president, uh, the Congress will veto, the, pres uh, the president will veto, Congress doesn't have the votes to override the veto. Conclusion, Donald Trump gets the money to build his wall or continue to build the wall that he's been building. Trump wins. Uh, that's the conclusion here. We'll sustain his veto. And let me remind your viewers that for every unaccompanied minor that comes to the United States, it costs us $375 a day to house these minors. They go through hell to get here. And on average, we're spending $136,000 per kid from the Treasury. This is a crisis, 1.6 billion going to be spent. We're approaching a million illegal immigrants by the end of the year. Our laws reward people for coming. We need to change our laws and we need to build a wall. Trump is going to win in Congress on the wall and I'm going to pursue legal changes to make sure you can be held more than 20 days, that you're not going to be released into the country before you have an immigration hearing. If we don't stop that, they will always keep coming. Well said. All right, Senator Graham leading in the Senate. Some of your colleagues, they need to grow a backbone or retire. Not you, though. Stand with the president. All right. Thank you so much.